for a year by order of Dandolo, trade and economy in Venice stood still. All men and resources were needed to construct a large new fleet for the crusade. So Venice fulfilled its part of our contract. 85,000 silver marks for a safe journey to the Holy Land. When the people saw the 200 new wonderful warships, with the huge banners, oars and sails, armed with mangonels and Greek fire, it was clear to everyone that this was truly the most marvelous fleet Christianity had ever built. Our army arrived in Venice in the summer of 1202. We were 10,000 brave knights from all the good kingdoms of the West. We had our faith, our weapons and our determination with us. What we did not have with us were the promised silver marks. We were fools when we believed that an army of poor knights would be able to raise such amounts of gold. It was a disaster for both us knights and the Serenissima. However, Dandulu was still a master of improvisation, or had he already seen all of this coming and secretly prepared his plan in advance? The Doge told us that he was very sorry for our precarious situation, but we should not worry. He knew another way for us to pay our debts. We should just attack the rich city of Sorrow and the Adriatic together and share the loot. My heart wanted to say no. But as if Dandolo had casted a spell on us with his clever words, we agreed to his scheme. At the same time as he had advanced this proposal, the Doge bound himself closer to our cause. He called together the citizens of Venice along with the leading crusaders to the Basilica San Marco. There he raised his voice to speak to us. I am an old man, weak and in need of rest and my health is failing, but please allow me to take the cross." Deeply moved, the crowd cried their approval. We beg you in God's name to take the cross. And so he joined us on the crusade in person. The Pope waged, Sorrow was a Christian city after all. He threatened us with excommunication and worse. Dandulu advised us to keep this a secret at all costs, and we agreed. If the other knights had found out about the enormous disapproval of the Pope, this would certainly have been the end of our venture. When the siege of Sarah began, the desperate citizens put crosses on their walls to show that this was a Christian city. It should not help them fall. to excommunicate all crusaders if they did not break off the siege of Zara. Saint then was to our camp to convince us to call off the attack. Then Dolu wanted to cover up the Pope's threats as discreetly as possible, so he sent his loyal monks out to a meet in the camp for stands. Skeptical glances were exchanged between the knights. <laughs> Odio. Impero. Condo. Fabulo. Ai, 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 mita, ai. ai. Porro, ai, 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 ai. Pugno. Oh. 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 Oh.
sane. Con mi sane. Presto, Fabio. Pabulo, caedo. Ain, pero, pero, pabulo, caedo. Presto, odio. Salve. Salve. Pero. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders' camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. The Venetian sailors told us an adventurous story. A ship from Amalfi, loaded with fabulous treasures, said to have sunk here on the coast many years ago. The lost gold was still to be found here somewhere. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders' camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. The citizens of Sara were disgusted that Andover had talked us into this godless world. Crusaders wanted to take part in the attack on Zara. One of them was Simon de Montfort, who had set up his camp far away from the city. He wondered suspiciously why the Crusaders wanted to attack a Christian city for Venice. He should have left for Jerusalem long ago. Condo. Condo. I'm 
Cuando, cuando, tal vez, odio, cuando, cuando, presto, presto, tal vez, cuando, 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 colo, cuando, cuando, odio. Oh Madonna, in their greed, the Venetians found the sunken ship with the lost gold in the end. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Condo, condo. Presto, ein, ein, podio. Pero podio. Condo, condo, condo. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Condo, 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 condo. Ein, audio. Condo, audio. Salve. Salve Recti. Condo. Fodio. Condo. Fodio. Ein. Fodio. Condo. Salve. Pero. Condo. Condo. Presto. Condo. Salve. Condo. 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 Fodio. Ein Press Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Pero presane. Condo. Condo. Condo, Condo, Condo,
pero... Extremely disgusted by the ongoing siege of a Christian city, Simon de Montfort wrote to protect Sarah from his former brothers and eyes. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Correctus, sane, salve, correctus, ein correct, sane. Pero, presto, quando? Presto, salve, pero, pero sane, quando? Ein correctus, correct. Ein sane. sane. Correct. As the army approached the city, we saw the many crosses which the defenders had placed on the walls. They should remind us that Sarah was a Christian city under the protection of the Lord. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Correct. Sane. Sane. 
Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. Ahí. 
Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. When the armies broke through the gates of Sarah, the spectacle broke between the Crusaders and the Russian soldiers. A group of angry Crusaders even attacked the Russians in fear of being cheated of the game. Another envoy was approaching the Crusaders' camp. He had to be stopped one way or another. In days of siege, the city of Sarwa finally is ruined. Suddenly, Horns heralded an important visit. We were confused when well, Alexius Angelos, the heir to the Byzantine Empire, entered our camp. What was the meaning of this? After almost two weeks of fighting, we captured the city. The frightened citizen left Zara and we were able to ransack the house. We robbed everything of value, but in the end it was less gold than we expected. Since in winter a long sea journey was unthinkable, the army spent the following month in Zara and we discussed how to proceed further. On a cold December evening, an unexpected visitor suddenly arrived at the camp. The stranger introduced himself to us as Alexius Angelos. The young man told us that he was the one to heir to the Byzantine Empire. However, his malicious uncle had exiled him from Constantinople. Got straight to the point. Crusaders should overthrow Alexius' uncle and help him become the new emperor of Byzantium. As the new emperor, he could then give us the unbelievable sum of 300,000 silver marks and provide us with any military aid we would need to conquer Jerusalem. I imagined how easy it would be for us, with such enormous resources, to conquer and defend the Holy Land. 
We were naive and indecisive. Then Dolo's words now influenced all of our decisions and thoughts. We sought the advice of this cunning little sage on every matter and nothing was decided without him. It was no different with Alexios. Then Dolo advised us to accept the young man's proposal. What the Pope might have against his decision was not relevant to us anymore, given the prospect of Byzantine wealth. So then Dolo seduced us to this momentous decision. Crusaders and Venetians would sail together to the greatest and best defended metropolis of the known world. Impero, salve. <laughs> 